What if I told you the Mickey Mouse ring <laughs> wasn't the only one? All of you guys are frauds. In this video, I will show why every NBA championship since 1950, when the NBA was officially created, has an asterisk on it and doesn't count. Some titles have bigger asterisks than others, but none are 100% legit. If you get butt hurt mm. watching this, then I've done my job. Let's go. 1950. There were only 11 teams and rebounds weren't even counted yet. Can you believe that? <laughs> 1951 to 1953. There were only 10 teams. 1954. There were only 9 teams. 1955 to 19. 1961, there were only eight teams. 1962 to 1966, there were only nine teams. In 1967, there were only 10 teams. And from 1968 to 1976, half of the best players in the world were in the ABA. So that about wipes out the majority of the Celtics titles. You're welcome. Oh now we start getting into the real shit after the NBA and ABA merge starting in the 1976-77 season. 1977 Blazers. The NBA referees went on strike during the playoffs. 1978 that Bullets. Is crazy. Reigning MVP <laughs> Bill Walton broke his foot in February when his team was 50 and 10, so Washington didn't have to face the reigning NBA champions and the best team in the league. The 1979 Sonics. Seattle benefited yeah, from injuries, knocking out two Bullet starters, Kevin Grevy and Tom Henderson, in Game Five of the NBA Finals. The 1980 Lakers. Thanks to a trade a few years prior, LA took Magic. Johnson with the first overall pick despite finishing 47 and 35 the year before. Before the 1979 draft, they also won a coin flip over Chicago to get the first overall pick. Without Magic, there is no 1980 title or really any of the Lakers he titles. He said the, the way you got Magic the was Mickey. Celtics. <laughs> the Celtics got to face a losing team in the NBA Finals, the 40 and 42 Houston Rockets. Can you imagine if this shit happened today with Twitter? He's spinning. He's spinning. He's spinning on that one. Imagine if like a buck face the pelicans in the finals <laughs> that's free food what happened in 2021 would stay in 2021 they would immediately be on Giannis head you beat cj much shut the fuck up katie better that's fucked up ain't it low-key nowadays winning a chip can hurt your legacy if it ain't the right chip that's fucked up 82 lakers the top two seeds in 1982 were able to skip the first round and the 76ers were a number three seed so they had to play an extra series before the nba finals whereas la didn't thanks to playing in a far weaker western conference for reference the sixers mm. played 15 games before the finals the lakers eight of course the fresher lakers ended up winning the series in six hey no cap bro i i found this out a, a couple years ago this was at the prime of like yo the east is weak lebron's finals appearances don't don't count and i was looking at the 80s i'm like yo the 80s wasn't wasn't really all that bro like hey keep the same energy for magic hey, man. but they they don't they don't hey you already know me if that shit don't have a 199 in it <laughs> that shit was trash you you know me that shit ain't 199 get this shit out of my face boy no. i don't give a <laughs> God damn, bro. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I wouldn't be top 10 in the 80s. I'm top 20. 100%. God damn, bro. 1983 76ers. Instead of winning four playoff series like real men, the 76ers only had to win three playoff series to win it all. Soft. Also, Lakers star rookie James Worthy was soft. out for the finals with an injury. The 1984 Celtics. Lakers Hall of Fame forward Jamal Wilkes, who averaged 17 points per game in 1984, missed the first round of the playoffs with a gap gastrointestinal virus. He then lost his starting gig and became a non-factor in the playoffs. Despite this, Boston still barely scraped by LA in seven games. It's not hard to believe that with a healthy Wilkes, LA wins. The 1985 Lakers. Mm. Boston's Cedric Maxwell, who won the 1981 Finals MVP, missed 25 games in 1985 due to knee surgery late in the season and was a shell of himself upon his return. Cedric with their finals like opponent singer. battered, LA cruised in a relatively easy <laughs> six-game series. 1986 Celtics. Instead of having to face their hated rival and 62-win Lakers in the finals, Boston got to play a young and inexperienced Rockets team that caught lightning in a bottle and upset LA in the Western Conference Finals. How's that their fault, bro? Mickey. If they were that bad, bro, Mickey. beat them. Mickey, God. Mickey. Hey, we do that with the Clippers too. Crazy. Mickey Mouse ring. Mickey Mouse ring, birdie. Sorry. Do better. Bird. Larry Bird. <laughs>
Surprisingly, Boston beat Houston in six games. Houston's 1986 title run would end up being a flash in the pan as every player besides Akeem Olajuwon would end up either leaving or self-destructing shortly thereafter. 1987 Lakers. LA faced a badly injured Boston team in the finals and didn't have to deal with Len Bias. Boston's second overall wait, pick wait, wait, in 19. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, this is for the. I ain't gonna lie, chat. I saw this and I was like, yo, the Celtics were doing cocaine in the finals? I didn't read that. I didn't read that. <laughs> the Celtics said, God damn it. We're <laughs> doing magic for real. Why, yo? <laughs> rest in peace, Len Bias. Of course. Me. Rest in peace. Rest in this peace. This is my, my dumb. It's one of the few times you ever see someone read the article first before the headline <laughs> that is backwards b what the fuck <laughs> 86, who died prematurely before ever playing a second in the NBA. With bias on the squad, Boston wouldn't have relied as much on their older veterans like Bird, McHale, and Parrish, and would have had a better answer for LA's James Worthy. Despite this, Boston still took LA to six games, but it wasn't enough. 1988 Lakers. Pistons star Isaiah Thomas suffered a major ankle injury in Game 6 and barely played in Game 7, which Detroit lost by just three points. Also, Bill Lambeer was called for a phantom foul on Kareem late in Game 6 that allowed LA totally to facts. the series facts. to Game 7 facts, and foul. waste a historic Oh, you don't know about that song? So no, that was a foul. Magic I've Johnson heard about it. I've heard about it. I actually have seen it. He threw out his hamstring in Game 3 of the NBA foul. Finals, ending both his MVP season and the legitimacy of the Pistons title. 1990 Pistons. Arvidas Sabonis wasn't playing in America yet, so Detroit avoided him starting for Portland in the Finals. Detroit That's also so benefited crazy. from Scottie Pippen <laughs> suffering a migraine in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Rich, Finals versus Chicago. Their best player isn't even on the team. LA's right. top scorer James Worthy and top shooter Byron Scott both got hurt and couldn't play in Game 5 of the NBA Finals. Also, at this point, Magic Johnson probably had, you know, HIV, so yeah. The 1992 Tough. Bulls. Arvidas Sabonis, who Portland no, no. drafted in 1986 but wasn't allowed Why to join the NBA until 1995, yeah. was in his prime no, playing overseas instead of on the Blazers. Wait, this same dude again? Because Chicago's <laughs> biggest weakness during their dynasty years was the center position, and okay, Sabonis definitely would have exploited right that. Now. It also oh, didn't help that Portland completely shit their pants in the fourth quarter of Game 6 against Chicago's backups with Jordan on the bench. 1993 Bulls. Chicago got to face an offensively challenged Knicks team in the Eastern Conference Finals before getting to face a mediocre defensive team like Phoenix in the Finals. Phoenix, which had the best home record in the NBA in 1990. Yo, I'm trying so hard to just, like, not take it seriously. <laughs> uh you the vet, bruh. You, you the, you, you the vet, bruh. I ain't going shit on the Bulls for facing a mediocre offense. They face an elite offense in the next round. Oh, they had mediocre defense. God. Hey, damn. so you want to make you mad? You know they're doing that with Tatum now, right? <laughs> I don't know. You caught my stream, bro. I'm talking. I'm going on KD and shit. You be like, so you ain't going to talk about how Tatum's only doing this to the Nets? God damn it. God damn, bruh. Play, make clutch shots. Play great defense. Bruh, it's the Nets, bruh. He's doing it to KD. What the? Oh, right, they're bro. pulling the it's the next yes, card now? Yes, 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 uh, yes, yes. Anybody that thinks I'm lying, or knock wood, bro. Check the stream, W plug. Check the stream, bro. They are pulling that card, bro, 100%. It's kind of gross. It's the Nets. Or the KD fans Man. are. The KD fans are. I'm going to say it's the masses. Man, all I heard was we got Kyrie and KD. Be scared. I am still scared. Ain't going to lie. We have a 2 all lead, and I'm still scared. But... <laughs> I heard Kyrie and KD, two clutch players. We can make the last shot. The two best number twos of all time on the same team. Crazy. Play the bit. Play the bit. <laughs> three went 0 and 3 at home in the finals, including the decisive game six, where they shot just 5 of 22 in the fourth quarter in a game they lost by just one point. 1994 Rockets. MJ was suspended and off playing baseball. Also, John Starks was a double agent for Houston, oh shooting God. two for 18, two 18 in game seven of the finals, Stop a shooting. game which Houston won by just six points. 1995 Rockets. MJ came back late in the year, but wasn't back to being 100% MJ just yet. So Houston got to face a young Orlando team instead of the Bulls in the finals. Also, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Nick Anderson missing four straight free throws at the end of game one, which would have won Orlando the game and completely fucked up Orlando's psyche the rest of the series, which ended huh? in a Houston sweep. 1996 Bulls. The NBA added more expansion teams in Toronto and Vancouver to water down MJ's competition even more. Two-time oh all-defense oh. Remember, Nate McMillan's back was yeah, fucked up why. and he barely played in the finals. But most importantly, Seattle coach George Carl inexplicably didn't put 
1986 Defensive Player of the Year Gary Payton on Michael Jordan until Seattle was already down 3-0. Seattle went 2-1 once Payton got That's why it's Mickey Mouse? You said your co the coach, the coach who's on the team Utah that you went against got out coached? Get it out of here. Five in game <laughs> what six. the heck? 4 of 17 in game <laughs> Yo, <what laughs> Nah, I ain't gonna lie. We should have had, had red Yo. shirts and a whistle. Next time we do this chat, we have ref shirts in the whistle, bro. That's a reach and foul, bro. Get that out of here. That is nuts. What the <laughs> fuck? It's Mickey Mouse because the other team, he coaches team bad the first three games. All right, bro. He made an adjustment too late. Sound like the coach is a part of that team, and that's the reason they lost. Sound like they the reason they lost, bro. I don't, I don't know about that one. Five, a game they lost by just two points, and Ew. five for 15 in game six, a game they lost that by just four. Also, the NBA was still using the shortened three-point line at this point, so so who knows if MJ still makes those threes late in his infamous flu game if it's a real three-point line. 1998 Bulls. Utah choked again in the fourth Ooh. quarter of game two, shooting four for 15 in a game they lost by just five points. But the biggest asterisk is how in game six, an obvious three-pointer by Utah's Howard Isley was incorrectly waved off, and a later shot by oh, Chicago's shit. Ron Harper, which was obviously not out of his hands until after the shot clock had expired, was incorrectly counted. This was a massive five-point swing in a game Utah lost by just one point. Also, MJ pushed off. 1999 Spurs. Uh, lockout Only 50 you have games. To find Seriously? Yes. That shit doesn't count. They even got to play a shitty Knicks team in the finals. Give me a break. 2000 Lakers. Oh, would have lost in the Western Conference Finals if the Blazers didn't completely shit their pants and shoot 5 for 23 in the fourth quarter to blow a 15-point lead in the fourth quarter of Game 7. 2001 Lakers. Making... The 2001 <laughs> Lakers lost both Good games defense. to Ray Allen and the top scorer nah. Milwaukee Bucks in the regular season. This is important because Allen has all but said the Bucks Sixers Eastern Conference Finals, which Milwaukee lost in seven games, was rigged so the NBA could get regular season MVP Allen Iverson in the finals against the Lakers, a series which the Lakers would easily the Lakers, win in five bro. games. 2002 Lakers. I'm a Lakers Facing fan, elimination but those two was down 3-2 in game six of the Western Conference Finals, LA took an absurd 27 free throws in the fourth quarter of a historically controversial series. Also, LA avoided going down 3-1 by getting lucky on a scrum play under the basket that somehow ended up with the ball being tapped out right that to Robert Orr, who converted gangy. on the game winner for LA as time expired in game four. 2003 Spurs. Dirk Nowitzki didn't play in the final three games of the 2003 Western Conference Finals with a knee injury, giving San Antonio an easy pass to the finals where they defeated a weak New Jersey Nets team. 2004 Pistons. After averaging 18 points per game in the first round, LA's Carl Malone's knee completely imploded by the finals and was a non-factor. Malone is a piece of shit, but Chauncey Billups winning final Finals MVP isn't much better in the morals department. 2005 Spurs. The league yeah. expanded from 29 to 30 teams, diluting San Antonio's title. Also, Rasheed no, Wallace's massive brain fart late in Game time. 5 to leave Robert Ory uncovered for a go-ahead three-pointer all but cost Detroit the title, putting them down 3-2 and having to go on the road to San Antonio for the final two games where they ended up losing in seven. 2006 Heat. Miami took 52 more free throws uh, in yeah. this series than Dallas, an yeah. astounding number. I, Mark Cuban one. was so in <laughs> Rage, he reportedly put a former one. FBI agent on the case to investigate. Yeah, moving on. 2007. Yeah, someone Spurs. lost a bet. Phoenix bro. Is someone lost a bet bad that they had to call an FBI agent. <laughs> a 20 year veteran of the beer. <laughs> <laughs> the, cre the cream of the crop. We're getting to the bottom of this, man. Why was D Wade at the line 30 times in game three? There is no way. <laughs> Wade attempted 97. Jesus Christ. Especially for the rough ride and clothes line in 06. Nah, man. I want to look back at that series to actually see uh, how many were legitimate fouls. Because at some point, bro, it might just be the Mavs just not being disciplined. <laughs> Raptors fans, you're fouling the Sixers. Hi, yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's just put it out there now. Yeah, y'all are. Y'all are jumping on Joel. Stop saying it's not a foul. You're jumping on Joel. 2007 Spurs. Phoenix's Amari Stoudemire and Boris Diaw, both in their primes, were suspended for a pivotal Game 5 of the Western Conference semifinals for stepping onto the floor at the wrong time after San Antonio's Robert Ory hip-checked Steve Nash into the sideline. Instead of getting to face a veteran and experienced Pistons team in the finals, the Spurs got to face Flip a Cavs Saunders. team what that consisted of LeBron and a bunch of Make-A-Wish kids. 2008 Celtics. Oh. Celtics led Legend and former Minnesota GM Kevin McHale called up his former Celtics teammate and former Celtics GM Danny Ainge and traded him Kevin Garnett in his prime. And we all know Boston doesn't win in 2008 without KG. Hey, that's a true Celtic right there, bro. God, Kevin McHale from the other conference said, I'm gonna help out the green. 
I'm going right. to help out the green. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. That's big brain. I give him that one. That's 500 IQ. If, if the Lakers did that shit, I'd stand it to him. If Jerry West gave us Kawhi. Lakers. L.A. dodged LeBron, who averaged 39-8-8 oh, okay. in the Eastern Conference Finals, and somehow it wasn't enough. Of the 229 individual opponents that Kobe Bryant faced at least 20 times in his career, his lowest win percentage came against LeBron. L.A. got mm. to face Dwight Howard oh, in okay. Orlando instead. Courtney Lee blew a point-blank layup at the end of Game 2, and Derek Fisher bailed out L.A. and Kobe in the clutch late in Game 4. L.A. won the series in 5, but it was a much, much closer series It's supposed to trigger remember. me. 2010 Lakers. In Game 7 of work. the Finals, mm -hmm. the Lakers yeah, to took say. 21 free throws in the fourth quarter, while the Celtics took 17 all game. Coincidence? I think not. 2011 <sighs> Mavericks. It's obvious that a Mavericks <laughs> fan with major... No cap, bro. 2010 was literally my first year of watching basketball. Yeah, I, I, was, I was in Massachusetts, moved to America for, for, for the first time. And I'm like, oh my god, the fucking home team's in the Finals. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And it's Celtics versus Lakers, so you know. That's a great first Finals matchup to watch. <sighs> Heart broken, bro. Crazy. Hey, man. Crazy. Hey, I wasn't. I was happy as hell. I <laughs> mean, that was my first season fully watching the season. Like, not just being a dumb kid that watched the yeah. playoffs when dad had the game on. Nah, I was like, oh, yeah. I love Kobe. It's them. I chose Kobe over T Mac. Glad I did that. <laughs> and I, I was like, I was like, yo, yo, we win it, we win it, we win it, man. But hey, man. Shout out Ron Artest. As crazy as it sounds, though, truly, I didn't even know about the Celtics Lakers rivalry at that time. I just, I I drew myself to uh, the Lakers and the Celtics at the same time and became a Kobe and a Celtics fan at the same time. But every time I say my two favorite teams of all time are the Celtics and Lakers, they they never believe me. But here I am. <laughs> here I am. People hate you for what teams you like too, bro. Watch the comment section on this vid. Hey, chat, football-wise, I'm a Steelers fan. Watch that. Just, just watch. You understand. I don't. They gonna hate me now. Football-wise, who won the Super Bowl? <laughs> this year? Yeah. The Rams, man. The yeah, Rams. I'm a Rams fan. <laughs> I, I hit the camera off thing, thinking we on the podcast. You're nasty. You're nasty, for the, You're so gross. He's a Patriots fan. Hey, I'm going to be nasty at the parade, Sage. He's a Patriots fan, if not a Brady fan. That's all he's talked about. He doesn't, he doesn't even know football, but when he does, that's all he talks about. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Connections got the mob to force LeBron James to throw the 2011 finals. There is no oh, other explanation for his unexpectedly it. awful performance that allowed Dallas to win the it's series. In LeBron six games. Threw it. So, so this a lockout is the first season full of broken of all time. bodies. <laughs> Derrick Rose tore his ACL, torpedoing the number one seeded Bulls season. The number two seeded Heat cruised by default to the finals and took down a young OKC team that never fully arrived. 2013 Heat. The reigning 2012 Western Conference champ. OKC traded away future MVP James Harden and lost Russell Westbrook to injury in the first round of the playoffs, paving the way crazy. for the Heat to repeat. Also, Ray Allen's miracle shot saved Miami from losing in six games in the finals versus San Antonio. Well, he didn't say LeBron's Spurs. legacy? In game one of the NBA Finals in San Antonio, the Spurs' home arena's air conditioning quote-unquote malfunctioned due to electrical <laughs> failure, and LeBron had to be carried off the floor due to <laughs> leg cramps. San Antonio won game one by 15 points, thereby invalidating the remainder of the series. Yes, oh, okay. I'm hurt. 2015 Warriors. Kyrie Irving's kneecap exploded late in game That's one of the finals, one. causing an already injured Cleveland team obvious. to play scrubs like James Jones, Imon Shumpert, and Matthew <laughs> Delvadova's major minutes shoulder, the remainder bro. of the series. Somehow, oh the God, series no. still went six games, largely thanks to LeBron's brilliance. The 2016 Cavaliers. Draymond Green got suspended in a potential clinching game five, and Steph Curry might have been hobbled, and Harrison Barnes also missed several very open shots. Oh, and you can't forget how Andrew Bogut got hurt early in Game 5 as well. 2017 Warriors. Kevin Durant joined a 73-9 and team because of a cap spike, creating a team that was so overpowered they came within one game of sweeping the entire postseason without even trying very hard. 2018 Warriors. That Chris Paul's crazy. hamstring popped while Houston was up 3-2 <laughs> in the Western Conference Finals. Houston then missed 27 straight three-pointers at home in Game 7. In the Finals, LeBron broke his hand in frustration after the refs, George Hill, and J.R. Smith cost him a brilliant 51 point performance in game one. But mostly it's the same as the year before. Golden State doesn't win without re signing KD again. They were a completely artificial dynasty that deserves absolutely zero respect. 2019 oh, okay. Raptors. Kawhi Leonard rested all season and got an extremely lucky bounce at the end of game seven against Philadelphia in the Eastern Conference semifinals that ended up That's nudging the ball through the basket. Nah, but let's is. be real the real Jeez. asterisk I'm here is that Toronto only Damn. beat Golden State in the finals because Kevin Durant played just 11 minutes all series long and Clay 
Clay Thompson missed one and a half games. A healthy Golden State steamrolls them. 2020 Lakers, a bubble ring. No crowds, no travel, and Miami had injuries to key players like Goran Dragic and Bam Adebayo that gave LA an easy finals win. And finally, the 2021 Bucks. Oh, injuries to Harden mm. and Kyrie in the Eastern Conference semifinals <laughs> are the only reason Milwaukee made the finals. And in the finals, they got to play a good but not great Phoenix team who were only there largely thanks to injuries to LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Kawhi Leonard. Just a massively injury-tainted postseason all around. Even though I just spent the last 10 minutes or so invalidating every single NBA title that's ever existed, just remember, every single NBA title ever is this more is valuable his favorite than player, any chat. of Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings. <laughs> I'm so happy. Hey, you funny, bro. And I'm glad that happened. That's his favorite player. I think the premise of the video, though, you know, you guys aren't really seeing the big picture here, is uh, you can really pull the asterisk card for literally any player, any team in NBA history. Correct. So uh, just appreciate what's in front of you, bro, for real. Because in 2019, truly, I was having so much fun watching those playoffs. I wasn't thinking about the asterisk shit. This is Kawhi going crazy. And he brought Toronto a championship. And I, I'm, I'm sure that championship means the world wants to really Kawhi's legacy and two um Toronto as a franchise as a city so I'm not gonna take that joy away from any franchise really same thing with the bubble Lakers I mean that's that's a big one if you guys enjoyed this video uh click wherever the hell the editor puts it it's me and boy TSO Sage you're my brother Benjamin take care and stay blessed but more importantly go to Disneyland